Welcome back to Fat Fab's YouTube channel. Randy, Jake, this is another update on the 1966 Lincoln Continental. Um, we have strikers. We have strikers. We have doors that latch. Yeah, we got them in, they got, got them aligned, gapped. And you have a rear panel. Yeah. That separates the trunk from the rest of the car. Yeah, got all that TIG welded in the last couple of days and ground down and cleaned up. Tell them about some pedal work. Oh, yeah, that was- And the column, and the column. Right yeah, the column came in too. Yeah, we got the column, pedals, we got all that in, got the 90 degree brake booster up underneath the dash. It was a big pain in the ass being heavy and trying to hold it up underneath the dash, but um, I got it, got it all mounted. Uh, got the gas pedal mounted. Um, steering column is in and it appears to be the right length, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, the, uh, all the working components that make this car go down the road are in and that's pretty exciting in yeah. itself. Um, next, we've been talking about, we still don't have a transmission though. No, we're still waiting on that. That's why we haven't got a tunnel yet. We've been talking about the, the direction of how we're gonna cap where the windows used to go. We're gonna cap this over and build a panel on the inside of the doors. Uh, and then also the, the B pillar or what's left of a B pillar right. of how we're gonna cap that in and, and create a, uh, a gap system on, we sound like uh, racers now, gap system, right? Like gap sauce or gap bees. <laughs> yeah. How we're gonna gap bees all this <laughs> yeah. uh, with our nice 316th gaps whenever these doors close. So. Um, other than that, and we just uh, we just finished uh, discussing the trunk area of the gap between the trunk and the rear bumper uh, where there's normally a piece of rubber. Yeah. And it's somewhere around a three sixteen or a three quarter, three -quarter inch, inch gap. Yeah. yeah. And that's not going to fly, so we're going no, to get rid of that. It's way too big. So, uh, we'll remove the trunk here shortly and add extend the trunk down to get rid of that. But it's going to be super tricky to get that the way the trunk opens and getting that to clear of yeah it folds and uh, be like behind the bumper right so and getting rid of that gap is going to be it's a little bit of a difficult process but it's randy again randy's got this that's right <laughs> other than that uh we'll be working on the center console here pretty soon we yep. will need the transmission and dry shaft to be able to do that because we have to have a dry shaft tunnel before we have a center console so um we kind of put that on the back burner we flipped the car around i don't know if you notice here that the background is the same and the car is backwards, yeah, so yeah. we flipped it around on the lift, so uh, we can start working on the back of the car instead of the front of the car. Yeah, because we're pretty much done. Uh, you know, we got the grill and stuff to do, but we're waiting on that. So try to make it easier for me. So we flip it around. Just keep on keeping on. Keep updated on YouTubes, Facebooks, YouTube. Instagrams, and TikTok. Sean, Sean, Sean will have you on Tiki Tac. So. <laughs> Once again, it's lunchtime. Yep. I'm out of here. Thanks, guys. They're gonna think we're fat asses. All we do is eat. Woo! He was at it to it again. That was a lot closer. All right, go ahead. I'll, I'll try your your twos. Was it this little something there? Right there. Yeah. Yeah, there. Oh! Bitch! <laughs> you see all that dirt in my eye?